welcome back guys to another youtube tutorial it's your boy sam and today we're going to show you how you can convert your .py file to an executable file so yeah let's get to it the first thing we'll need to do is we need to go to our command line so just cdm command prompt and you write p ip and you click enter so if you have Pyth if you have pip you should get exactly what i'm getting right here but if you do not have pip then it's going to show you that you don't have pip you won't have anything similar to what i have here if you have exactly what i have here then i'll put a timestamp on where you can get to the next step but if you don't have pip then right now i need to actually show you how to get pip and the way you're going to get pip is there are two ways the first way i'm just going to show you in my pycharm if you have pycharm what you do is this code right here you go to your python console so you go to your Python console right here and you put this code right here, which says import system. You know what I'm just going to do it right here. You say import system. After that, you say for p in system.path. And then you print p. I press enter twice. And when you press enter twice, you can see that you'll be given all these different directories of this location. Right here, you can see the location of your Python file. And why do we need this? Why we need this is when you go to um, edit system environment, this place right here, if you're using Windows, you click on it. I click on environmental variables. You click on that. And you see here, right here, path. If you do not have your Python in a path right here, this is a way you, you need to put that location in my case, I have it, you can see it right here. I have it in my path. That's the same location as the one I just highlighted. If you don't have it, you just create new and then you copy and paste it into here because you need this in your path to actually be able to show if you have pip or not. So I don't have to add it because I already have it. But yeah, that's how you do that. Now, you go back to your command. And if you write pip, you should get exactly what I have. But if you don't get that, then I'll show you another thing you can do to actually make sure that you have it. And the way we do that is you go to Python. And the way we do that is we go to python.com. You download Python. Then you open it after it's been downloaded. I can see right here we have modify, we have repair, reinstall, uninstall. It's giving me uninstall because I already have Python. So you click on modify and on modify, make sure you tick this box here that says install pip. If you've done that, then you click on next. And the next thing you need to do is you need to tick, if this is not ticked, you need to tick it, which is add Python to environmental variables. And then after that, you click install. I don't need to do that because I already have it all installed but this should guarantee that you have pip installed yeah so i'm just going to cancel it now when you have pip i'm going to show you three ways two ways to do it if you're using pycharm because i love pycharm this is why i use pycharm is because it makes everything so easier and accessible if you're using pycharm what you will need to do is you need to go to your terminal right here you click on terminal and inside here you say pip install Pi installer. I click enter. Now it's showing me that I already have this requirements already satisfied. In your case, it's going to download this and it's going to take a while, but make sure it completes the downloading and everything is all right. And if, to make sure that it's actually downloaded, you can try this again. And after it's downloaded, write pip install pi installer. Then you should get exactly what I have right here gonna make it bigger you should get exactly what I have right here and after that when you've done that the next thing you can do is we'll do pi installer and then we'll say one we'll say dash dash one file and then we'll say dash w and this is if you have different modules in my case you can see I have board.py constants.py game.py that's when you put the dash W and after that we'll put our main file that actually we run 
you know when you want to run this code right here you would run it in main so that's what we're going to put right here so say main dot pi i would click enter and now we're seeing that everything is initializing and working out perfectly so we're just going to wait for everything to initialize well yeah, so now we can see here it says completed successfully. The next thing we'll do is in our PyCharm, we'll go to our main folder. In my case, it's called checkers, and I right click on checkers. And when I right click on checkers, I want it to show in Explorer. So I'll click on this show in Explorer. Now I can see the checkers file in our Explorer. We click on it. And right here, this main spec, we can delete that. We don't need it. You can leave it if you want to, but it's not needed. Now, this is the part right here, the dist. So you can see this is this file right here. You click on it, but I want to just show you something real quick. If I click on it right here, it does not work. It says fail to execute script main. And that's because this is not in the same folder, in the same file as it's in a different file so the what we need to do is we need to basically just carry it and put it into our checkers main file so after doing that i can even delete this disk because it's not needed it's empty now and we can also delete this build that is not needed too so now if i do the same thing and i right click on it again to open it to run it you can see we get our checkers and everything works perfectly. You can play the checkers. If you guys want to see how I build this checkers board, put it down in the description below and I'll make a tutorial on how everything was done. And yep, that's basically it. Just started playing it now. Yeah, now this is a king. So that's basically it. This is how you do it through PyCharm, but I'm going to also show you how you can do this without with, with the command line without using pycharm in case you do not have pycharm and the way we will do that is i'm going to delete this again and what i'll do is right here in this directory i'll just write cmd and enter and now you can see that i'm in the directory of the folder and in this case i'll put pi I'll put pi or I can do install pi installer now when we're here I'll do pip now that we're here we'll say pip install Pi installer, just the same thing we did earlier. And you can see it shows us the same message that's already been installed. Now after that, we'll do the same thing again and say pi installer dash dash one file dash w and the name of the file which is main.py. And we click enter and we'll wait for the same thing again and now we can see the same thing completed successfully so now you can see we have exactly the same thing and as i said earlier you delete those we go to the dist file we we take it back to our main file or folder we take it back to our mail folder from the dist folder and now we can delete the disk folder and now we can just run our executable file like this main click on main and now we have the checkers ready to be played and that's it guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're new if you have any questions or you're having any problem with your files and how to do all these things put it down in the description below and i'll for sure help you out I know what, I'm going to wrap this up and I'll see you all in the next YouTube video.